Hey, <laughs> hello, this is Jay again. We're gonna tie a brush bugger on a tube. It's like a woolly bugger on a tube. We're gonna make this one black. So let's get going and have some fun with this. Thanks for joining me. Okay, let's get going here. We are gonna tie on a uh, Pro Sport Fisher Nano Tube. This is like a Sync 4. I'm gonna have a little ultrasonic disc when we finish, if I don't drop it. And we have a little drop weight here in the back. We got a black one, we got a hook guide on here. We could use a bigger drop weight and different colors, but this is basic story. Here we go. Now, this is gonna be yet another form of the woolly bugger. Why on earth would we mess with yet another one of these things? Why not just use the one we've always used? Well, because we're adventurous and explorers and pioneers and we got some fun new stuff. One of the things I like about tying a bugger on a tube that I can use quite a small fly. Got some black marabou, but this is, by the way, this is UV marabou. And you know, it's got kind of a annoying how this marabou flares, but when you get it, oh, why would it be annoying? I don't know. Hey, I got that stuck to my finger. Um, it's annoying because, I don't know, it just is. So I'm gonna actually put about three marabou feathers around there. So I've got good coverage. Of course, you know, when this is wet and you're pulling it in the water, it uh, really pulsates. So I should be saying, wow, I really like the way this marabou flares, okay? Okay, I've done my mental readjustment there. So I'm gonna use my chenille here. It is speckled chenille. I think this is called Midnight Fire. So I'm sitting kind of off to the side of this thing so I don't get my shoulder in the way and it's a little awkward. Here's a, hey, let's put some crystal flash. Let's go, pretty sure this is grizzly crystal flash, but it, it's kind of a cool, it's red and black, metallic red and black. Let's put a couple of fibers on this side. You can use almost any color you want here. You could use a root beer. You could use pearl. You could use a hot orange or a chartreuse or a hot pink. For all I know, they may even have some black. Uh, black what? Black. Crystal flash. Anyway, why, why do I like to tie these on tubes? I like to tie these on tubes because then I can use a I can use a small hook, still have a fairly long fly, but a little bitty short shank hook that I think is less likely to injure the fish. Because so we don't want to do that, unless we're going to put them in the frying pan. Less likely to injure the fish or to, um, to what? You know, that's what happens when I'm concentrating. This is a uh, Senyo's Chromatic Brush. I think it's midnight. It's really nice black with some hints of blue in it, blue flash. Where, well, I have no idea where I was. Um, oh yeah, short shank hook. Less likely to leverage out of the trout's mouth. 
and less likely to injure the fish. And if I happen to, um, to damage the hook, to dull the hook, I can, uh, I can replace it. And I can also, I can gauge my hook kind of to the size of the fish I'm expecting to catch. Now, if I'm gonna fish, I could fish this fly for steelhead. Yes, I sure could. If I'm fishing it for big trout, you know, 20 inches, 25, 30 inches, Jurassic trout. So I don't want to get too much build up here. So let's, uh, this brush, you know, what this brush is going to do is get, give us a little bit of wiggle and a little bit of flash and a little bit of pulsation without being too dense. I want to build this head with, up with thread very much. This is a 10 aught Vivas thread. Ooh, I lost hold of it. I think my kitty boomer is getting ready to jump up in my lap here. He's rather impatient with me this morning. And I'm going to put my ultrasonic disc on here, but first, a little bit of a little bit of Loctite. Man, that's enough for five flies. Here comes my ultrasonic disc in gun smoke or gun metal or it's, it, there we go. Wow, that looks really nice. So let me slide this off here. Let me, I'm gonna be out of frame here. What you can imagine is me putting this on the bench and pressing down with a razor blade and here it comes again. Let's get a little touch there. It's pretty good. Make sure that it's open. Here's where I, boy, if I got the shake so I can't find it there. It's open. Now let's little put, put a little hook in there, in the hook guide. This fly is tied in the round. Look at that beauty. That's, boy, I got the shakes here. Let's, uh, let's put it back on the flexing needle to show it off here. Okay. Here is a black brush bugger, guaranteed to catch trout of epic proportion. Thank you for joining me.